I'm with Greg Curtis with the Good Earth Greenhouse. We're talking about perennials mm -hmm. today and just, you know, the annual reminder about annuals and perennials. Annuals are once, the perennials will come back. They will come back for years and years and years. So what we're going to talk about this morning are going to be the summer bloomers. They start blooming about June. Should get mid-July, maybe even stretch a few of them out to August. One of the main things you got to remember about with perennials, Jeff, and you and I have talked about over the years, you want to kind of layer it. So we've got different layers here, ones that will grow, say, 8 to 10 inches, 12 to 16 inches, more of a ground cover like this. So we've got a, maybe a 10 to 12 inch as well. Different blooming time, so some of them might start blooming you know, mid-June, late June, early June. So that way you get the bloom all the way through. All the ones I have here in front of us this morning are going to be full sun. So that's going to be sunlight from, say, 12 o'clock on or from, say, from daylight to at least 1 o'clock. Well-drained soil. Other than that, you go out and deadhead it every once in a while, and you're good to go. So very easy to take care of, but a lot of these do need that full sunshine, too much shade. Yeah. Uh, they may not uh, they may not come in quite right and that's why you want a variety of them too right. so you can get them to bloom at different times you do and then we carry a full array of, sh of shade perennials as well most of those are early spring bloomers and we have some fall uh, some of my favorite ones are actually winter bloomers so most of your full sun ones are going to be your late summer even your early fall bloomers you want to make sure you use our product we have here called jump start you only have to fertilize them a couple times a year and then you're like i said you're ready to go so very easy to take very care easy. of. You put in uh, your perennials and uh, they'll keep coming up year after year. And now, what, what about growth though? I mean, do they get bigger over time or a lot do they stay close to the same? Great question. So let's just take this cone flower, for example. So and this you could do is cut flowers as well. So that's gonna continue to grow up. The height on this isn't gonna mature out this year, but it will next year. If taken care of, this cone flower, here, hold that for one sec, is gonna be about like that next year. So instead of having maybe 10 or 12 blooms, you're gonna have 15 to maybe 30 blooms on there. Same with the yarrow, any of these will continue to increase if taken care of. All right, well that's about all the time we have for this week with the Gerth Greenhouse. Join us back here next Wednesday. More gardening tips from the Gerth can be found on Fox 16.